G'day folks, here's my review of Charnel Altar Endless Loss Plowshare and Futility at the Potbelly. <laughs> G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm here in lovely Belconnen in Canberra and tonight I have the choice of three different gigs if I really wanted. Uh, I could go see at the basement, I could either go and see Rose Tattoo, which is pretty tempting actually, I probably should have gone to that instead. Uh, also at the basement is uh, the VBs are playing at the um, Bowl Jam uh, after party, which is going to be a messy affair I think. Bowl Jam's a big um, skateboarding uh, event that's on about a couple hundred meters that way you may be able to hear it in the background if there wasn't friggin birds squawking um so yeah that's a big skateboarding um you know event lots of and i just drove past it there's a lot of people there so if i go to the basement it's gonna be pretty packed but yeah i've been to um post bowl jam um vb's gigs and they're messy <laughs> it's gonna be gross but anyway <laughs> instead i'm going to the potbelly to see two bands from south australia which are um charnel altar and endless loss and locals plowshare and futility um yeah i think uh charnel altar is sort of a death doomy kind of band uh, i wouldn't quite call them funeral doom but yeah pretty bloody slow but with some fast beards sounds pretty friggin heavy i'm quite looking forward to them uh, they got like a i think it's like a split i think i own the split sort of with um carcinoid i think and yeah they've also got an album and a demo uh, i haven't seen them and also i haven't seen endless loss who's the other south australian band i'm not sure if these are guys share band members i wouldn't be surprised but um yeah they've been touring around the country this week so yeah sounds like they've been going good endless loss is a uh, kind of black death i'd say yeah you could call it more metal if you really want but you know your, your titan blood kind of band so definitely looking forward to that live that should be quite interesting they sound pretty bloody intense on their uh, ep whose name escapes me and also uh plowshare who i've seen a number of times i'm looking forward to seeing them because i haven't seen them since they released their latest sort of album which has uh quite a different sort of style a bit more industrial um, quite a different sort of style so I'm looking forward to seeing what they they're like live usually they're sort of black deathy kind of style but um yeah it's gonna be interesting and first up a futility who I've seen a number of times usually at um, the doom gig that Kurt, Kurt puts on uh, the curtain the guitarist um, yeah for his <laughs> anniversary of his heart attacks so uh, glad he's still around Kurt uh, yeah they play sort of death doom sort of style with you know pretty punished sort of vocals from brendan and yeah they're pretty good i'm glad they've been playing a bit more of late because they used to play like once a year for with heavy heart the festival so i'm glad they're they're getting out and about so so yeah um, potbill is a pretty small venue i'm i'm expecting there probably won't be a giant amount of people there because they'll probably be over the basement for the two gigs on there Eesh. that beer garden's gonna be messy <laughs> um so but yeah i like potbill it's a really small cozy sort of venue it's just a long narrow sort of one with a smallish stage so but yeah good sound good vibes uh, and good beer as well so yeah we'll see how the gig goes so enjoy <laughs>
nights a couple of days later and let me tell you the gig was bloody excellent <laughs> it was really good very very intense uh, i loved it there was a decent sort of crowd for the uh, pot belly it's not a huge place so it doesn't take much but yeah it was adequate enough to bugger up my filming for some bads um and yeah just keen crowd uh good times really good sound as well so yeah all in all bloody excellent night uh first up were futility who i've seen a number of times of late and yeah they're getting nice and tight um they're yeah very slow death doom sort of stuff with occasional fast bits that still sound slightly odd to me but yeah um i uh, very much enjoying their very heavy sound though uh, there's not enough bands that sound like full death doomy sort of style uh, and Matt's lead works really excellent as well. It really sort of helps it along. Um, but yeah, Brendan, really good deep vocals. Holy dooly, I remember back in the Deviant Plan days. Uh, he sounded bloody good then, and he still does. So yeah, they were killer. They played, I don't know, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes or so, including a um, Catatonia cover, which is always, always thankful. Uh, they did Murder from Brave Murder Day, which, yeah, sounded great. I think I recorded most of one of their songs, so I'll put that up separately, but yeah, they were bloody excellent. <laughs> second were South Australian band Endless Loss who uh, <laughs> really crank the intensity up they're a very fast sort of uh, kind of war metal you know black death sort of style uh, pretty bloody intense at, at first I was thinking it seemed marginally one-dimensional it was um just pretty damn buzzy heavy guitar that you couldn't make out a huge amount of uh, but really after a while the drumming was the bit that really distinguish the sort of songs and the, the changes and so on it was yeah, really well done um yeah it was only a two pieces like a drummer and a, just a guitarist and singer and uh yeah, they both got into it it was it was excellent um and yeah i managed to buy their tape which is called uh, what is it bloodletting narcotic divination <laughs> um so yeah even though i don't have a functioning tape player i may also have it on mp3 so uh yeah that'll get more of a working over i'd say so yeah yeah very much looking forward to hearing more from those chaps uh yeah very impressive <laughs> third band of the night and probably my highlight i'd say was uh fellow south australians uh charnel alter 
who, <laughs> holy dooly, uh, I had actually listened to their album a few times and their demo as well a number of times before this, but yeah, uh, didn't quite prepare me for how bloody intense it was live. For some reason I thought they were a bit doomier than they ended up being. Maybe they just played faster songs, but yeah. It was fast and intense. Um, the guitars were mostly a bit buzzy. I uh, did one of my mates did whinge about the guitars not being quite as uh, pronounced as they could be, but it um, sounded good to me. But um, especially when he went into sort of slower riffs occasionally, and yeah, that was massive. But yeah, it was the intensity was the real <laughs> eye opener. Um, both the drummer and the bass player sing, and yeah, they put some effort in uh yeah the bass player looked bloody crazed it was excellent and the drummer was, did most of the deep really deep sort of vocals and was a f damn fine drummer as well yeah very impressive um but yeah they really blew me away i did uh, end up buying their album a bit of a spoiler from one of my future collection updates this is abatement of the sun um and i may have ordered their uh <laughs> demo which is also on vinyl so yeah that should arrive soon as well so but yeah they were very impressive i don't know just um again it was it was pretty f it was fast death doom which doesn't really make sense but <laughs> that's pretty much what it was um i would say there's similar format in ways to disembowelment but they didn't sound a thing like disembowelment it was just more um yeah it was it's more sort of bestial war metal with slow bits, basically, but yeah, <laughs> I was impressed afterwards. I was sort of like, whew, crikey, time for a beer, I think. So, uh, yeah, definite winners of the night for me. And yeah, that drummer, holy dooly, he was a, a pounder. I like watching dudes when they're blasting and the sticks coming up here sort of thing. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, that guy's not tapping, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm very impressed with those boys and they were excellent. <laughs> Headlining the night with local lads Plowshare, who I hadn't actually seen for a while, so I was eager to check them out since they released their latest album, Ingested Burial Ground. That's uh, quite a different sort of sounding album with a lot less guitars, a lot more sort of, I don't know, noise elements and uh, industrial sort of elements as well. So, yeah, they, they played, I think it's the first song off that, um, which had a lot of sort of screaming and <laughs> noisy sort of. I wouldn't say keyboards, but uh, I think it was just a guitar sound in the background, and um, yeah, it was a pretty intense start to the gig. Uh, I did recognise one song, they're not very chatty between songs, so uh, I did recognise uh, Undistinguishable Bird in Flight, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> the rest of it was their usual style, which is friggin' intense as well. There was no drop in intensity between the south australian bands and them so yeah that was very impressive um yeah i i love the the dual vocal attack of those guys it's um <laughs> intense definitely is the word I'm not sure why the one of the guitarists i don't think they had quite enough space on the stage of the pot belly one of the guitarists was standing on the ground with maybe had too many pedals and effects bits and pieces so uh but yeah, I was kind of hoping they'd play a bit longer, really. Um, I mean, I was getting a little weary being an old geezer, but <laughs> yeah, it seemed to only be like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes sort of thing, but oh, it was uh, 30, 40 minutes well spent, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what other songs they played, but yeah, <laughs> whatever it was, it was nasty. I liked it. So all in all, bloody excellent gig. I was, I was very impressed with the whole thing. Um, came away with a, a warm, tingly feeling of... Oh, Jesus, that was bloody intense. Uh, yeah, that's that's the key word of tonight, intense. Um, uh, and yeah, apologies for the lack of footage of uh, Plowshare. I'll, um, in my end credits, I'll put a, um, a link to a previous live gig of theirs that I recorded a song from. Uh, yeah, basically, I yeah, the Potbelly is a short stage. Uh, I mean, I'm a reasonably tall guy, but I'm not holding a camera above my head for, like, hours on end. Um, so, yeah, I finally got into a decent position and they finished. <laughs> so, anyway, there's, like, probably 20 seconds of footage of them that hopefully you enjoyed. But, uh, yeah, as I said, check out the um, my other clip of them because, yeah, very impressive band. 
But yeah, thanks to the Potbelly for putting that on. Thanks for the South Australian bands for, for coming all this way. They, they'd just done a, a tour of Australia, which was pretty impressive. I don't, maybe not Perth, sorry fellas, but uh, yeah, everywhere else. So yeah, good work. I'd, I'd be very keen to see both those bands again, especially Channel Alpha. So um, yeah, I would recommend checking them out. I'll put links down below for their various band camps or whatnots. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Cheers. See ya. Thank you.